when my guest started this journey way back, I say way back, he's not that old. In fact, he's rather young when he was in graduate school and he was working on getting his MBA. Well, he worked for companies like Allstate, Blue Cross, Blue Shield before founding his company, which is called Financial Asset Protection, which is a financial services firm that focuses on one primary concept and strategy. And that is the bank on yourself concept, which is also known as the infinite banking concept. I'm so excited to have my guest here on the show with me today. So welcome to the show, Sari Ibrahim. Welcome, Sari. Hi, Jay. Thank you so much for having me on. And thank you so much for that awesome introduction. It's a pleasure to be here. And I'm excited to chat with you. Well, I'm excited to chat with you, Sari. So first of all, why don't you take a moment and tell folks how in the world it is you're qualified to talk about what you're going to be talking about. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I um, I started my journey, my financial services, financial planning journey when I was doing my MBA um, and I was about halfway through the program. I started working for different insurance companies and uh, financial services institutions. I worked at Allstate and Blue Cross and Humana um, and I started to enjoy working with clients. Originally, I thought I, was, I, thought I was going to get into project management. That's what I got my MBA in. It was a concentration in project management. But I quickly quickly realized that I love talking to people. I love problem solving. I loved listening to people too. Um, and I started to notice that people became more comfortable speaking to me about their financial problems and things that they wanted to accomplish financially. So then a kind of a, a light bulb went off and it was like, maybe I can make this into a, like a long-term career where I'm just helping people um, plan financially and solve money problems, either too little, like too much debt or too much, not sure how to uh, position real estate deals and things like that. But I wasn't really sure of a, a type of um, career like that. So I, I, I stuck through the insurance world and mostly in Medicare. I was a Medicare consultant too, and helping people in retirement plan for retirement for Medicare in, in the retirement. And um, I, I kept my eyes open for financial planning and just read a lot of books. I read about three books at the same time. Um, for the last 10 years. And I came across a book called The Bank on Yourself Revolution by Pamela Yellen. And the book talks about the strategy that we're going to talk about today, the bank on yourself strategy, what, what it is, how it works, why it was even invented, why it was even created to begin with. And um, I love the book. I love the content in the book. And then at the end of the book, there was a section that said, you know, if you want to join our program as, a, as an advisor, um, I, and I, I applied through the program, got accepted, and went through an eight week rigorous training program on how to structure these policies, how to understand kind of different financial vehicles out there, like mutual funds, ETFs, stocks, uh, and all these different other types of conventional types of um, investments. And we went through the problems with them, the pros and cons of all of them. Um, and then most importantly, it was how to structure bank on yourself type whole life policies. And, and really, I, and I started a company called Financial Assets Protection. And that was kind of the uh, overall point of the company is to become a bank on yourself organization where we can help clients use these policies, especially a lot of our clients are real estate investors and private money lenders and hard money lenders. So really, you know, I, I'm, I'm excited to be on your show because I think it's going to really connect really well with you and uh, the audience. Mm -hmm.